a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha. Good morning to you all. My name is Roger Ayer, and today our topic is the dead know nothing. Please join me in prayer. Father, as I share this lesson with your people today, I ask that your Holy Spirit will lead me and guide me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today, many of us have different theories of the dead. Many would have put their own doctrine to it. But as we go into the Bible, the Bible makes it clear what happened when a person died. So this morning, I'd like to share with you from Psalm 115, verse 17, which says, The dead do not praise the Lord, nor any who go down into silence. Psalm 146, verse 4, from back that up. He spread the parts. He returns to his earth. In that very day, his plan perished. And the wise man, Solomon, make clear in Ecclesiastic chapter 9, verse 5, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. And he goes back to say in Ecclesiastic 9, verse 10, Whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going, and may I add where I am going. But as we look at these different texts, in Job chapter 3, for example, the patriarch deplores his own birth because of all the suffering in our own dire moments. Or who, wasn't, who hasn't wished that he or she had never been born? We can remember the story of Jonah. He recognizes that he had died at his birth. If he had died at his birth, he would have remained at sleep and at the rest. In Psalm 115, defines the location where the dead are kept at a place of silence because the dead do not praise the Lord, based off Psalm 115, verse 17. This hardly sounds as if the dead, the faithful, and the thankful dead are in heaven worshiping God. Not at all. They rest for that day. According to Psalm 100, chapter 146, the mental activities of the individual feel with death. His spirit departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. This is a perfect biblical depiction of what happens at death. And in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, the wise man Solomon declared that the dead know nothing and in the grave. There is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom. These statements confirm the biblical teaching that the dead are unconscious. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we are happy today that you have not left us to wonder what takes place with our loved one when they die. We are happy to know, God, that the body goes back to the earth and the breath goes back to you. Today, we, can, we have the assurance that your words are true and that they will guide us even in a world that there's so much deception. I pray today, dear Lord, that as your people hear these words, they will know that you are God who cares for them. Thank you for loving us and caring for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks for joining today, but please join tomorrow for another interesting episode of Papa. Until then, God bless. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.